good wishes to all of you atmic habits topic 13 how to stop procrastinating by using the two minute rule audio book twila tarp is widely regarded as one of the greatest dancers and choreographers of the modern era in 1992 she was awarded a macarthur fellowship often referred to as the genius grant and she has spent the bulk of her career touring the globe to perform her original works she also credits much of her success to simple daily habits i begin each day of my life with a ritual she writes i wake up at 5:00 am put on my workout clothes my leg warmers my sweatshirt and my hat i walk outside my manhattan home hail a taxi and tell the driver to make me to the pumping iron gym at 91st street and 1st avenue where i work out for 2 hours the ritual is not the stretching and weight training i put my body through each morning at the gym the ritual is the cap the moment i tell the driver where to go i have completed the ritual it's a simple act but doing it the same way each morning habitual habitualizes it makes the make makes it repeatable easy to do it reduces the chance that i would skip it or do it dif- differently it is one more time in my arsenal of routines and one less thing to think about hailing a cab each morning may be a tiny action but it is a splendid example of the law of behavior change researchers estimate that 40 to 50 percent of our actions on any given day are done out of habit this is already a substantial percentage percentage but the true influence of your habits is even greater than these numbers suggest habits are automatic automatic uh, choices that influence the conscious decisions that follow yes a habit can be completed in just a few seconds but it can also shape the actions that you take for minutes or hours for afterward habits are like the entrance ramp to a highway they lead you down a path and before you know it, you are spend, speeding toward the next behavior it seems to be easier to continue what you are already doing than to start doing something different you sit through a bad movie for 2 hours you keep snacking even when you are already full you check your phone for just a second and soon you have spent 20 minutes starting at the screen in this way the habits you follow without thinking often determine the choices you make when you are thinking each evening there is a tiny moments usually around 5:15 pm that shapes the rest of my night my wife walks in the door from work and either we change into our workout clothes and head to the gym or we crash on to the coach order indian food and watch the office similar to twila tarp hailing the cab the ritual is changing into my workout clothes if i change clothes i know the workout will happen everything that flo- follows driving to the gym deciding which exercises to do stepping under the bar is w- easy is easy one i have taken the first step every day there are a handful of moments that deliver an outsized impact i refer to these little choices as decisive decisive moments the moment you decide between ordering take out or cooking dinner the moment you choose between driving your car or riding your bike the moment you decide between starting your homework or grabbing the video game controller these choices are a fork in the road these new moments set up options available to your future self the difference between a good day and a bad day is often a few productive and healthy choices made at decisive moments each one is like a fork in the road and these choices stack up throughout the day and can ultimately lead to very different outcomes for 
instance walking into a restaurant is a decisive moment because it determines what you will be eating for lunch technically you are in control of what you order but in a large larger sense you can only order an item if it is on the menu if you walk into a steakhouse you can get a sirloin or a ribeye but not sushi your options are constrained by what's available they are sharpened by the first choice we are limited by where our habits lead us this is why mastering the decisive moments throughout your day is so important each day is made up of many moments but it is really a few habitual choices that determine the path you take these little choices take up each one setting the trajectory for how you spend the next chunk of time habits are the entry point not the end point they are the cap not the zip the 2 minute rule even when you know you should start small it's easy to start too big when you dream about making a change excitement inevitably takes over and you end up trying to do too much too soon the most effective way i know to counteract this tendency is to use the 2 minute rule which states when you start a new habit it should take less than 2 minutes to do you will find that nearly any habit can be scaled down into a 2 minute version read before bed each night becomes read one page do 30 minutes of yoga becomes take out my yoga mat study for class becomes open my notes fold the laundry becomes fold one pair of socks run 3 miles becomes tie my running shoes the idea is to make your habit as easy as possible to start anyone can meditate for 1 minute read one page or put one item of clothing away and as we have just discussed here, this is a powerful strategy because once you have started doing the right thing it is much easier to continue jo- doing it a new habit should not feel like a challenge the actions that follow can be challenging but the first 2 minutes should be easy what you want is a gateway habit that naturally leads you down a more productive path you can usually figure out the gateway habits that will lead to your desired outcome by mapping out your goals on a scale from every very easy to very hard for instance running a marathon is very hard running a 5k is hard walking 10000 steps is moderately difficult walking 10 minutes is easy and putting on your running shoes is very easy your goal might be to run a marathon but your gateway habit is to put on your running shoes that's how you follow the 2 minute rule here we are disc- discussing about very easy easy moderate hard very hard put on your running shoes is very easy walk 10 minutes is easy walk 10000 steps moderate run a 5k hard run a marathon very hard write one sentence very easy write one paragraph easy write 1000 words moderate write a 5000 word article hard write a book very hard open your notes is very easy study for 10 minutes is easy study for 3 hours moderate get straight as hard and a phd very hard people often think it's weird to get hyped about reading one page or meditating for one minute or making one sales call but the point is not to do one thing the point is to master the habit of showing up the truth is a habit must be established before it can be improved if you can't learn the basic skill of showing up then you have little hope of mastering the finer details instead of trying to engineer a perfect habit from the start do the easy thing on a time on a more consistent basis you have to standardize before you can optimize as you master the art of showing up the first 2 minutes simply became a ritual at the beginning of your larger routine this is not merely a hack to make habits easier but actually the ideal way to master the difficult skills the more you ritualize the big 
beginning of your process the more likely it becomes that you can slip into the state of deep focus that is required to do great things by doing the same warm up before every workout you make it easier to get into a state of peak performance by following the same creative ritual you make it easier to get into the hard work of creating by developing a consistent power down habit you make it easier to get to bed at a reasonable time each night you may not be able to automate the whole process but you can make the first action mindless make it easy to start and the rest will follow the 2 minute rule can seem like a trick to some people you know that the real goal is to do more than to just 2 minutes so it may feel like you're trying to fool yourself nobody is actually aspiring to read one page or do one push up or open their notes and if you know it's a mental trick why would you fall for it if the 2 minute rule fails force it try this do it for 2 minutes and then stop go for a run but you must stop after 2 minutes start meditating but you must stop after 2 minutes study arabic but you must stop after 2 minutes it's not a strategy for starting it's a whole thing your habit can only last 120 seconds one of my readers used this strategy to lose over 100 pounds in the beginning he went to the gym each day but he told himself he wasn't allowed to stay for more than 5 minutes he would go to the gym exercise for 5 minutes and leave as soon as his time was up after a few weeks he looked around and thought tough well i'm always coming here anyway i might as well start staying a little longer a few years later the weight was gone journaling provides another example nearly everyone can benefit from getting their thoughts out of their head and onto paper but most people give up after a few days or avoid it entirely because journaling feels like a chore the secret is to always stay below the point where it feels like work greg macon a leadership consultant from the united kingdom built a daily journaling habit by specifying writing less than he felt like he always stopped journaling before it seemed like a hassle ernest hemingway believed in similar advice for any kind of writing the best way is to always stop when you are going good he said strategies like this work for another reason too they reinforce the identity you want to build if you show up at the gym 5 days in a row even if it's just for 2 minutes you are casting votes for your new identity you are not worried about getting in shape you are focused on becoming the type of person who doesn't miss workouts you are talking the smallest action that confirms the types of persons you want to be we really think about change this way because everyone is consumed by the end goal but one push up is better than not exercising one minute of guitar practicing is better than none at all one minute of reading is better than never picking up your book it's better to do less than you hope it than to do nothing at all at some point once you have established a habit you are sh- showing up each day you can combine the 2 minute rule with a technique we call habit shaping to scale your habit back up toward your ultimate goal i designed a habit journal specifically to make journaling easier it includes a one line per day section where you simply write one sentence about your day you can learn more at automichabits.com journal start by mastering the first 2 minutes of the smallest version of the behavior examples of habit shaping habit 1 phase 1 becoming an early riser becoming vegan starting to exercise phase 1 be home by 10 pm every night start eating vegetables at each meal change into workout clothes phase 2 have all devices tv phone etc turn off by 10 pm every night stop eating animals with four legs cow pig lamb etc 
Step out the door. Try walking away. Phase 3. Be in bed by 10 p.m. every night reading a book, talking with your partner. Stop eating animals with the two legs, chicken, turkey, etc. Drive to the gym, exercise for 5 minutes and leave. Phase 4. Lights off by 10 p.m. every night. Stop eating animals with no legs, fish, calms, scallops, etc. Exercise for 15 minutes at least once per week. Phase 5. Wake up at 6, p- 6 a.m. every day. Stop eating all animal products, eggs, milk, cheese. Exercise 3 times per week. Then advance to an intermediate step and repeat the process, focusing on just the first 2 minutes and mastering that stage before moving on to the next level. Eventually, you will end up with the habit you had originally hoped to build while still keeping your focus where it should be on the first two minutes of the behavior. Nearly any larger life goal can be transformed into a two minute behavior. I want to live a healthy and long life. I need to stay in shape. I need to exercise. I need to change into my workout clothes. I want to have a happy marriage. I need to be a good partner. I should do something each day to make my partner's life easier. I should meal plan for next week. Whenever you are struggling to stick with your habit, you can employ the two minute rule. It's a simple way to make your habits easy. This chapter summary. Habits can be completed in a few seconds but continue to impact your behavior for minutes or hours afterward. Many habits occur at decisive moments, choices that are like a fork in the road and either send you in the direction of a productive day or an unproductive one. The 2 minutes rule states when you start a new habit, it should take less than 2 minutes to do. The more you ritualize the beginning of your process, the more likely it becomes that you can slip into the state of deep focus that is required to do great things. Standardize before you optimize. You can't improve a habit that doesn't exist. Thank you.